guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am going on a mission to create abstract art. I've been trailing Pinterest for the last few weeks gathering inspiration for my bedroom. Now for those of you who don't know me, I like pink a lot, I don't know if you can tell, and I recently purchased a big pink super king bed for my bedroom uh, because Dean is such a pain to sleep next to. I really wanted to incorporate a more sophisticated theme to my bedroom and I went to Pinterest for that because that is the perfect place for bedroom inspiration and I wanted to create a room that didn't resemble something like a five-year-old's bedroom like the majority of my house, but I have a space above my bed that is completely completely bare and empty and it was just crying out for some art and some artworks to go above there and I was trailing some online shops like Decenio and Etsy Then I decided I wanted to push myself a little bit and get creative and I thought why don't I give this a go myself? Now I used to use abstract art quite a lot back in my uni days and I used to mix it up with graphic design and illustrations to create really weird and fun abstract pieces but I've never really created just purely an abstract art piece to go into my home or anything like that. Tate Modern actually states that abstract art is art that does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of visual reality, but instead uses shapes, colors, forms, and gestural marks to achieve its effect. And the idea of just being completely messy and letting my hair down with this project was just so, so fun to me. And I got to relive 2009 uni day Catherine again, even though I was a little bit wild at those times and went out partying often but it was pretty exciting reliving my youth again. I decided that I was going to go into this project and create some art, abstract art pieces for myself. But next up, I needed some sort of colour palette and I wanted to be sophisticated with this theme, as I've said. So I've seen a few different themes to pair with pink, the main trend being pink contrasting with either a deep, rich green or a dark blue. Now, I'm pretty partial to the blue and pink combination anyway, but I thought the green would actually look so beautiful alongside my plants and will kind of create like a really cohesive room with the pink and the plants and then the green prints. So with this in mind I decided to start my quest. My HP bar was at its max at this point. I was feeling so inspired and ready to go but I needed art supplies so I boosted my power with a cappuccino and headed on my merry way to my first quest. Taking a little side quest to drop my mum off at Darlington train station for the trip to London but then after waving them goodbye and earning some some gold, it was time to get back to the main storyline. First mission, attack Hobbycraft. Now this required a somewhat time-scaled mission. For those of you who aren't familiar with Hobbycraft, it's a huge two-story department store over at Teesside Park near where I live, and I'm pretty sure it's a franchise filled to the brim with all things arts and crafts. For someone like me, this is like entering some sort of twilight zone. The magic that surrounds this place is strong. I'll go there with the intention of purchasing like a pack of paper and maybe a pencil, and I'll end up leaving like seven hours later with a canvas, eight brushes, two glass jars, and some other miscellaneous items that I probably will never ever use. I would probably liken this place to somewhere like a Michael's over in the US. Please do never take me there because I'll probably never see the light of day again and I'll probably end up living in that store. But I needed to keep my HP up and keep the mission in mind. I went there for a deep rich green watercolour and some gold paint. After being inspired by this print over on Decenio, I knew that I wanted to have a rich green and gold colour palette. Now my mission didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked. I ended up being in there for just over an hour but I did end up getting the art supplies I originally went in for. I didn't go too far off track, I did get everything that I needed and just a little bit extra on the side. After getting back into the studio and gathering up some old and new supplies it's time for the epic boss battle cue boss battle music which was the blank paper. Anyone who's an artist or an illustrator will know the blank paper fear. It's really, really daunting, especially when you're not used to doing a technique or art style. Uh, it just feels really, really scary. Instead, I felt like I was incredibly underpowered and I just completely skipped the majority of the main storyline and went straight into the main boss battle with no 
cool weapons and no cool armor to guard me and protect me. And here I was with like my cheap paintbrush and some Arte's and watercolor pads that was kindly gifted to me, but still, I still had no idea what I was doing. In total, I wanted three art prints. I don't know why, three seems to be like the usual amount of prints to go for. It's also weirdly visually satisfying. So I ended up taping down three sheets of this Arte's watercolor paper that was gifted to me a few months back using one of my dango washi tapes. I also found some pink salt in the communal kitchen in this office and decided to add this to the watercolor too to create that cool salty watercolor effect. It kind of didn't have the exact desire that I intended it to but I was just gonna roll with it anyway. Once I had the base layer down I wanted to let it dry before I layered some more paint on top so I decided in the meantime to try three more art pieces but rather than a deep green base which I was like kind of filling the paper up with I would have a more minimal approach using weird brush strokes and abnormal wrist flickage to create some cool brush strokes and lines and textures. I then went back after it had dried up a bit more and added some more deep green colours. I ended up adding some black to the green paint that I have. Now I did use two different paints, one from Arteza and the new one that I got which was called like Hooker's Green or something. But it wasn't quite as deep as I wanted it to be. So I ended up adding in some black Arteza paint that also was gifted to me a couple of months back. The paint was just a little brighter green than I'd actually anticipated. And I ended up just layering up the paint and I let it dry again, ready for the gold acrylic layer. Now I've never really used acrylic before. So I had no idea what I was doing yet again. My life bar was now at around 50% and I actually felt like I was making decent progress with the patterns that were down on the paper so far, but this was where it could all go tits up and the boss could throw out a new move and completely defeat me. What if the goal totally ruined my painting? This was what I was pretty scared of, but after squeezing out the metallic paint, which looked awesome by the way, and kind of resembled like a little golden poop, I decided just to go with it. Now, all I can say here is my eyes that technique was just smushing it around on the paper. There was no real skill involved here. I just smushed it around till I thought it looked good, but I found the brush end wasn't giving me as much texture as I initially wanted, and I know acrylic paint can give some really nice textures, and that's what I wanted these pieces to look like. So I decided to stab the bejeebus out of it with the wooden end of my brush, which actually kind of turned out pretty cool and added like this cool raised 3D texture, which is actually what I was going for. So once that was all done, I decided to quit while I was ahead. At this point, my HP had fallen to a steady 30% and I didn't want to overdo it or over process it any further because I have this habit of over processing prints or illustrations no matter what I do I actually always end up preferring the previous stage of whatever work I'm working on so I decided to quit while I was ahead and stop adding dots and random lines and things like that because there was already one art print in particular that was turning out a little bit too smushy and had too much gold kind of smeared in the center. I then decided to take some photos while the paint was still wet so you could kind of get that glossy texture to add to it even more rather than scanning it in on my scanner which can kind of give like a flatness to it and I also wanted to play around a little bit with the colors maybe deepen the greens make it look less flat and bring out the vibrancy a little more and then it was finally time to go home and replenish some HP because my health bar was running critically low at this point. I thought this would be a lot easier than it was but it actually turned out to be quite challenging and I actually had to focus a lot on the textures and patterns and combinations that I was putting down on the paper and the compositions and although it was very enjoyable at the time it was a lot more tiring than I actually thought it was going to be. Back home I actually needed to hang the frames up which ended up being a little disaster and my morale was really low at this point. Despite following some YouTube tutorials, I still didn't get the frames up straight, but let's just totally ignore this for now. I was at like 5% HP at this point and couldn't handle another critical hit, so I decided to save my energy and show you guys what it ended up 
looking like despite my frames being wonky on my wall <laughs> so so sorry about that now after i took a few steps back i decided to try the more minimal looking prints what i can say is i'm just not a dark green kind of girl i really thought i would like it but when it was actually in my room for some reason i just couldn't enjoy it so i switched them out stared at daisy and fluffy for being freaking adorable and then decided i preferred the more minimal look in the end anyway and that was it my epic abstract art boss battle was complete my hp was critically low i managed to scrape by by the skin of my teeth i actually ended up really really enjoying this project it was so much fun and it's made me so inspired to want to do my own art and do more abstract art and maybe buy an easel and some paint and explore with acrylics so i would highly recommend this to anyone um, to try out and to experiment with i have really really enjoyed it but i have to admit i don't think i'm completely sold on the green color scheme it's so strange because i've got a few friends who have this dark green color scheme in their home and dark blue color scheme and their rooms are so cool so trendy and so cozy but when it's in my own house i always end up going back to white and pastel and pink and that tends to be the theme of my whole life I always end up sticking to those colors and they're what make me happy surrounding myself with those type of colors so I don't actually know if these prints are gonna stay up for too long but so far I'm really enjoying them they do add a little bit more character to my bedroom I do think though I one need to put the frames on straight and two I think the frames needed to be a little bigger these were 11 by 14 inch frames I feel like it would looked a lot nicer maybe with a three size frames a little bigger would have just made it a little bit more dramatic and broke up the wall a little bit more they kind of look, looked a little tiny and puny um, in comparison to the bed and the rest of the wall uh, but let me know what you think which one did you prefer in the comments did you prefer the minimal style or did you prefer the heavy green style that I actually put on my wall in the first place doing this project has also made me have a whole new appreciation for abstract art really a lot of people kind of judge abstract art and say well I could do that or I could put paper I could put paint down on paper like that my five-year-old could do it but actually abstract art is incredibly skillful and takes a lot of consideration when you put the colors down on the canvas the composition the textures have to go without not looking muddy it's quite a skill to have and I have a newfound appreciation from abstract art since starting it I've always enjoyed it anyway but doing this project has just made me appreciate it even more and it even made me want to start looking into doing some art classes and refreshing my fine art skills. Emily what did you think to my sophisticated dark green abstract art print? I really liked it. I liked it enough that I've asked to take it home with me. <laughs> She's got one of the originals. This one was your favourite one wasn't it? Yeah. The there one with salt and dark green. Oh, I was holding it upside You've down. got an original. Oh, yeah. Actually it looks alright there. I really like it. It looks like a water reflection. Looks yeah, really nice. actually, yeah. Where would the water reflection start? Like here? This is like the pond or something? You can usually see a really clear reflection, like that's quite saturated and dark right at the beginning, so it probably starts like over here. Mm. And then as it pulls out, you tend to get really light saturated colour from the that's Not cool that's what's really cool about abstract art it's as well you can kind of take away with it what you yeah, want i really like it when it's really it was cool. just me smushing around a bunch of paint but it turned out pretty it cool it's really cool i really like it and yeah it's all mine <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I know it's something a little different to what I'm usually doing. If you've got a project you would like me to try out, let me know in the comments. And definitely let me know which abstract art piece you preferred. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all very, very soon. All right then. Thanks so much for watching. All right then. I love you. Goodbye.